My name is Alyssa Moore. I'm a physician assistant over at the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe Health Services. Um, and I'm here to discuss um, COVID, uh, COVID vaccine and testing um, based on questions that were sent in. Um, so the first uh, question we got was in regards to if you got your COVID vaccine, if you can then travel. Um, so this is both a yes and a no. Um, no airlines are requiring COVID vaccines in order to travel. Um, however, if you live on the reservation and you are traveling um, outside the, the mile radius, then um, you are still required to quarantine for the 14 days, even if you have gotten your vaccine. Um, most airlines are requiring that you have a test um, within a certain amount of time before you board the plane, as well as upon your return. Um, and that varies based on, um, based on airline. So as far as testing goes at our facility, um, currently we are only testing symptomatic individuals here. Um, if any individuals need a pre-surgery test, testing for travel, um, or they have an exposure but they have no symptoms, we are sending those patients to Mountain Medical in Messina or Malone, or when we do the on-site testing at the IGA. As far as the testing from Mountain Medical goes, if you get a PCR test, which is the send out test, it takes about three to five days for the results to come back. Um, that is covered completely by the tribe. So there is no copay to you, there's no cost to you. However, if you opt to get the rapid test, um, which you get your results in about 20 minutes, um, that there is a cost to the individual. Those tests are done at Mountain Medical, again, in Messina or Malone, um, also Saranac Lake and Lake Placid, if you're traveling that way. Um, but that is $52 per test. Um, and that is because the tribe does not cover the, the rapid tests. Um, as of now, so after the long weekend, we did get um, 13 positive cases um, here that were tested here at our facility. Um, these are directly correlated, we can directly correlate them to Super Bowl parties that happened a few weeks ago. Um, so it is extremely important that you remember to stay in your bubble, um, avoid gathering in large groups. If you are in an area where there are uh, a significant number of people, you know, make sure you wear your mask, wash your hands, stay six feet apart because we are seeing a direct correlation in gatherings and positive cases. Um, the last thing I do want to discuss is the COVID vaccines. Um, please be patient with, with us with the vaccines. Um, this is ever changing. The guidelines of who we can give vaccines to are forever changing. Um, and our shipments are sometimes changing. So we were due to get a shipment this week um, and it has been delayed, most likely due to the weather. So individuals that were scheduled to have their vaccines this week have been rescheduled to the 24th. Um, so please be patient with us. Some of this stuff is out of our control. Sometimes we get 100 doses, sometimes we get 300 doses, sometimes we get no shipment at all. So please be patient. We're working and following the guidelines um, set forth for us as far as who is eligible for vaccinations. If you are above the age of 65, you can call, put your name on the list. We'll get you scheduled for vaccination. Um, there's also you know, chronic conditions that put you at a higher priority, 
those on dialysis, those with active cancer, um, significant breathing complications, COPD, severe asthmatics, things like that um, would put you higher on the priority list. Um, if you do ever have any questions about the list, the priority, whether you qualify, please don't hesitate to call us. Um, make sure you do get your name on the list. You may not get an appointment that exact day that you call to get on the list, um, but somebody will contact you back and um, get you scheduled and set up with an appointment. The vaccine again is, is two doses. Um, so you'll get your first initial dose and then your second dose. Um, most people don't experience any symptoms after the first dose, maybe a sore arm, like your typical uh, vaccinations. Um, some individuals do develop symptoms, mild symptoms. Um, after their second dose, some have uh, informed us that they have gotten chills, they've gotten low grade fevers, some body aches, and they usually resolve within you know, 24 to 48 hours. Um, this is not a live vaccine. You will not get COVID from getting the COVID vaccine. Um, so we do strongly encourage if you are eligible um, to call, get your name on the list and get vaccinated. Um, and again, if there's any questions about the vaccine or about testing, anything, um, symptoms, anything like that, please make sure that you call us.